everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Santisha and on this channel I do fashion fitness and lifestyle videos today's video I'm gonna be doing a quick get ready with me slash chit chat of how I'm liking Edmonton so far before we get started please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're interested please continue watching and let's get right into the video how is Edmonton so far and I would say Edmonton so far is fun because my husband and I are just exploring new things to do, new places to go. So for us right now, Edmonton is fun. So basically things in like Mississauga, Toronto, they're pretty expensive. And we just, we're at a point in our life where we just want to save because we, we wanted to buy a house or like um, rent was also expensive. So, um, I would say here it's more fun and I don't think the fun will stop because now we make more money and things here are cheaper. So like we just have a lot more money to do a lot of things. Um, so yeah, so far Edmonton is just pretty fun. Exploring new things is fun. Meeting new people is just really fun. People here are just so friendly and super nice. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Everyone here is just so friendly. Um, yeah, people here are just really sweet, really nice. Um, just even asking like questions, like when we, we, we're not sure of things, or just asking people like how to get around. People are just really friendly. Um, it's beautiful. Everything in Edmonton is, um, like I would say Costco size things are just really big in Edmonton like the store signs are massive like they're just really big inside the stores like the aisle the aisles and stores are a lot bigger they actually have like really massive highways that's another thing that we were like oh my gosh it's so big like they <laughs> they have um just it, everything's just so wide and big like they just have huge highways um, they also have like this, these roads where it's like all one way roads and it's like five, I think it's about five lanes, four to five lanes. No, it's more than four. It's like five, maybe even six lanes. They're just massive. It's just really big. I have to like record it one day and show you guys. Like we're just obsessed with little things like that. <laughs> they have a lot more stores to choose from, like a variety of grocery stores and they're all in like close proximity of each other. So like if this Walmart is sold out of something, like it's not like, oh, I have to drive like another 10, 15 minutes to another one. There's another one like five minutes away, which is also rare because the stores here are just stocked, stocked and full of things. Maybe where we're at, but like we don't have an issue when it comes to like finding things and things going out of stock and things like that. So yeah, overall, Edmonton is really nice. It's really big. People are very friendly. When it comes to food and grocery shopping, like I said before, the options for grocery shopping, there's a lot more here versus um, Mississauga, Toronto. There's just a lot of different grocery stores added on top of the ones we have in Mississauga. Let's just say that. So they have the Superstore, the Food Basics. Wait, no, they don't have Food Basics here, sorry. They have the Superstore, the Fresh Co, the No Frills, the Walmart, but then they have like their own added stores like co-op, uh, Safeway, Save on Foods. Mm. There's a few more. I just don't remember the names. When it comes to pricing now, um, it's pretty much the same. It, there's no difference. It's not cheaper. The only thing I will say is the tax is cheaper, but there's not really a tax on food anyways. The only thing that will that I notice is really expensive is like Caribbean food, like oxtail or like even finding like ackee, selfish seasoning. Those things are a lot more expensive. But if you're willing to travel, like downtown or like wherever the stores are, then it's not much of a problem. Uh, I would say the weather. The weather, to be honest, is pretty much the same. There's, there's not a lot of, it's not like windy cold, like in Toronto, you guys are surrounded by water. So it is a bit colder versus here, like 
minus 15 doesn't really feel like a minus 15. Not that cold, like we're getting away wearing our like fall jackets or like a hoodie and uh, like a puffer vest. You'll be fine with that. I would say when it's actually like minus 15 feels like minus 20, that's when it's like really cold. But it's nothing that we haven't felt before. Like we've said it, we're like, it's not even that bad. Like we've felt this type of cold before, except for that day when we got here and it was minus 44. I don't know about it. That was really cold. But if you're just in and out of your car, then it's not so bad. Like it's not, I wouldn't say like, oh, I'm not moving there because it's cold. Like Toronto's cold too. And I would just say like, if it's for people who don't drive and you're just constantly taking the bus, then yeah, it's freezing cold. But like if you're in and out of your car and you're a person who drives, then you don't really have much to worry about. So I would say the cold overall. And we actually haven't had any snow since we've been here. I've been here for a month. We haven't had any snow. We are getting like um, some flurries. It says one to three centimeters on Friday and then next Friday it's about like six centimeters. That's about it. Like I thought it was gonna be like, people made it seem like <laughs> maybe this is not how their winter normally is, but it hasn't even been bad at all. I thought it was going to be like freezing cold blizzards every day. That's what people made it seem like. And that's not what's happening at all. Like the snow was melting outside. This past week, it's been like four degrees. It's been so warm this week. Like it hasn't been bad at all. And I was shocked because I was preparing for the worst. So nightlife, I don't, I'm not a party person. So like I don't go out anymore. Those days for me are long gone. Like, uh, like I'll still party if like my friends invite me or whatever, but I'm not a, oh, this weekend we gotta, I'm looking for a party type girl. No, I'd rather be in my bed watching Netflix or something. Like I don't do that anymore, but I would say like if you're just looking for like um, restaurants to go to like dinner with your family and friends, they have lots of those, like so many. They didn't take reservations. Most restaurants didn't take reservations on the weekend, which is understandable. Like it was a busy, busy weekend. We're like, what is like, is it, is there something going on? But apparently that's just how it is. Weekends out here. People are just spending time with their friends and family. Like it's time, like there's just a lot of groups, a lot of people going out, spending time with their family and friends. Like at restaurants, um, there was like the rec room, the movie theaters were packed, like everything was like busy. So there's lots to do. It's just if you're gonna make the time or if you have the money to do it. Um, I still haven't gone to the ski hill yet. We are supposed to go for my birthday, which is in like, I believe two weeks from now. Um, so I'm excited for that. Malls and shopping, we went to, oh great, I don't even remember the name of the mall. We went there yesterday, South, South, Southgate. Southgate Mall? We went to Southgate yesterday. And we went to Edmonton Mall. Edmonton Mall is another story for another day. Now I see why people who live here are just like, it's not as, you know, it's, it's a mall. This has two, oh, I think, I've seen like two of most stores. It is really big. Uh, it's not as um, updated as Square One. It's a little run down a bit. Just, I, I would say certain parts of it is like run down a bit. Um, even like the the rides in the mall, things like that. They're not like new, they're not updated. So it's like, it's not as like, oh my gosh, wow factor, like we thought it was going to be. It was kind of like, whoa, it's like, people from here, they don't really go on the rides or it's like mostly tourists on the rides. Um, the water park, we didn't get to go to that side yet. I'm waiting for my siblings to come down because they wanna do that. What else? But overall, it's a nice mall. Like there's a lot of stores, a lot of options to choose from. It's really nice. It's just not what 
we thought it was going to be. I think it's it's better for kids, and like teenagers. So it's a cool spot for teenagers and kids. I would say that. But like on your average everyday shopping, it was also really crowded. Like I, I personally wouldn't go there. Like if I wanted to do like some serious shopping, or like Christmas shopping, definitely not. So the mall pr prices are the same. Like. Actually, I won't say the prices. The prices are the same, but your taxes are cheaper. So shopping is a lot cheaper here. Yeah, let's just not get into tax. Tax is non-existent here. That's all I have to say. Like, my dad, did I already do this? Stuff? No, I didn't. My dad was asking me to look for a tablet that he wanted. I guess he wanted a tablet for his birthday and he wanted me to order it for him. So he was asking, like, what's the price? The price was the same, but the tax was different. So the tax for my dad was 30 bucks, and then the tax for us was, like, $11. So, yeah, you could kind of see what I'm going with there. When we first got here and we were buying stuff for the house from Walmart, uh, my tax, the receipt on my tax was $0.08, cents and I was speechless. Pretty much speech speechless. I couldn't believe it. Because you, you guys know when you go to Walmart and then you end up, you're like, oh my gosh, my bill is going to be like an extra 80 bucks on top of my bill. or Yeah, it was like 8 cents. And I was like, whoa. So yeah, that's that for tax. Wildlife. I haven't seen any wildlife. Actually, there is a hare or a jackrabbit. I don't know the right name. Or I think they're the same thing. There's like a jackrabbit or a hare. He, lives right, or he or she lives right outside of my house. And I've been trying to snap this jackrabbit for the longest time and I can't it just won't let me and this thing was really tall I, I've never seen it first of all it's fast as heck it's like so fast and it's pretty tall and I was like whoa um yeah it was interesting I've never seen one in my entire life yeah I still want to see my moose still haven't seen my moose so I'm hoping when I go to Banff either for my birthday or when my siblings come down and we go to Banff for snowboarding Better see my moose. I really want to see a moose. I just want to see a moose so bad. <laughs> With the antlers. With the antlers, okay? What else? Um, and driving the road condition. The road conditions when we first got here were insane. Um, not sure. Like, we, we need to get new tires, I think, because the driving, like, just wore out our tires. So we need to get new ones. But they don't pave the roads. Like, Toronto, it snows... That road is clear, like they're clearing it. They're out there, they're clearing it. The next day you're good. Yeah, that's the only negative side. So like when the weather is bad and you have to drive, you gotta be careful out here. It's very slippery. That is all for my little rant about how we like, or how I like Alberta so far. So far I'm loving it, it's amazing. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know any other questions that you want to know or anything that I left out. Thank you for getting ready with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.